Mother's Day is less than three weeks away. If you are stumped for the perfect way to honor mom, tonight's legacy landmarks may bring you some inspiration. That's if you have deep pockets. Amy Hogan explains. Heading down Genesee Street at the turn of the century, this historic sandstone library with its impressive columns and steep steps was just an idea in 1901. That's when brothers William and James Moore wanted to give something back to the community as a way to honor their mother. And this was Rachel. Mrs. Rachel Moore knew exactly what they could do. Build the village a library. That is really special. The Moore brothers spared no expense. They could afford it being big time corporate lawyers. They were known for merging companies. The U.S. Steel, they started that company by merging several smaller steel companies. The National Biscuit Company, they, they <laughs> yeah. formed from different smaller groups. They spent $65,000 to build the library and another $65,000 to fill its shelves. You could have three books out at a time, That's fine. Now it's but nice. two of them had to be nonfiction. When the library first opened its doors in 1904, 5,000 books sat right on these shelves, which are still in the library today. The collection has grown quite a bit since then. You're not just talking about books. Books and all types of media, print, digital, audio, bring the amount of items in circulation to 10 times what it was when the library first opened. The, this the collection is just over the years, it just changes yeah. to meet the new technology. And visitors can easily spot pieces of its past. It hasn't changed a bit. This is, this is, this original. is the original. And the mahogany woodwork, reading tables, and circulation desk have been greeting book lovers for 114 years. I can remember as a little girl when I was very small and I would come up to the counter with the library and my nose would just spit over the top. That same memory is shared by generations and countless people will reap the benefits of two brothers' gift to their mom. In Green, for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.